Hello from Sin City, my friends. Here's what's happening this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by SBR Forum. Sports betting discussions and handicapping on all major sports leagues. Visit them at sbrforum.com. Hello, friends. We've got a lot to talk about this week. Stories from Facebook, sports betting, and the first ever tribal online casino to go live. But first, this week's big story. Full Tilt Poker is officially back up and running, and players from around the world have been logging in, playing, and cashing out. Except, of course, for players living in the United States. The $700 million question is when will the Department of Justice get off their butts and start issuing refunds to former Full Tilt Poker customers living in America? This week, the Poker Players Alliance caught up with the DOJ to ask this question. Now, I could just read the news story about what John Pappas, the executive director of the PPA, had to say about the meeting, but why? when the man is a personal friend of mine, and he can tell you in his own words. Mr. Pappas, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Everyone's interested in uh, full tilt poker in America and when they're going to get their money. Tell us about your conversation with the Department of Justice. Sure. Well, yesterday I met, uh, along with uh, counsel for the PPA, with um, officials at the Department of Justice regarding the repayment of players' funds that have been held up on the FTP. As we know, the Department of Justice is responsible for the remission process, getting the players their money back. And I think there was a lot of hope that this would be something that would be done swiftly, uh, given that Poker Stars was able to repay players uh, almost immediately from their site, and then, again, the rest of the world will tilt players uh, just this last week. But the indications that we're getting, um, and certainly from based on – Uh, The body language and what we heard directly from uh, the department was that this is going to be a uh, much longer process than we had hoped and that uh, they are really just now beginning to formalize policies uh, to determine how players are going to get their money back, how much of the players' money they're going to get back. Uh, And it was our goal there to kind of assess where they stood, and uh, our first priority was really to – to let them know that the expectation uh, and all of the reasons why players should get 100% of their money back. Sure, but no timetable right now. No timetable right now. And and again, there's no no indication, clear indication one way or the other on on how the DOJ intends to make players, in their mind, whole. And uh, we explained, you know, quite strongly why – the only equitable solution is to pay players back based on the balances they had on account as of uh, April 15th, 2011. I agree. Um, if players want uh, more information from you guys or to perhaps support you in other ways, where can they go? Please come to our website at theppa.org. That's T-H-E-P-P-A dot org. We'll have more from Mr. Pappas and the Poker Players Alliance on future episodes of This Week in Gambling, as the segment you just saw will become a regular part of our programming. Before the break, I wanted to mention a story that some of you may have missed. Last week, the first ever tribal online casino launched. And this is no Facebook app, my friends. This is the real deal with real players playing for real money. Northern Bear Tribal Casino in Saskatchewan, Canada just launched northernbearcasino.com. They are fully licensed and have over 60 games. So, if you live in a legal jurisdiction, you may want to check out northernbearcasino.com. Well, let's shout out. It's like, hey man, out here in Fremont, you tearing it up tonight. We're f- 
fucking killing it right now. We're from Jersey. We're in we're in Las Vegas. We're gonna, we're repping baggers right now with Eric. We're killing it. Rick James, bitch. Follow, comment, and repin our gambling articles and videos. Visit Pinterest.com slash twigpins. Come on in. Come on in. I, I'm Jay Todd. Who the hell are you? Eric Ellis. Nice to meet you, Jay. Eric, we got a we got a photo bomber. Hey, look at that. No, hey, it happens. But he's good people. He's from Jersey, so it works out. I've been to I've been to Jersey. I've never been. What's it like? Uh, I don't know. I was only at the airport. <laughs> you know, uh, you don't have to wait for this video to come out every week. If you want all the latest online gambling headlines, you can get over to Facebook and read the stories there and participate, make comments on them just like our other 4,000 plus Facebook fans do. This past week, our friends were on our page commenting on everything from Zynga to our videos to the possibility of legalized sports betting in the United States. Like Fernando here, who says that he hopes they legalize it sooner rather than later. And now, speaking of sports betting, Here's a man who thought he was the real Slim Shady for almost 10 full minutes in 1992, Peter Loshak from SBR Forum. Hey Jay, listen pal, when I was younger, I was very urban and very cool, son. I, was, I, I could hold my own in any urban setting in the 90s, that is true. Anyway, uh, sports betting for the rest of November. It's the middle of high season, of course. College basketball has now started up, and the marquee matchups and the general madness is already starting. Just last night, there was a big Kentucky-Duke game with a very interesting spread, and a well-known and very well-respected poster at SBR Forum identified Duke as a good bet in that game. He was right. We all tailed him. So college basketball betting junkies are getting their yearly fix starting right now. Then also the NBA regular season is going on, and already the Los Angeles Lakers have had a tumultuous season, losing their first bunch of games as a favorite and then firing their And of course, football is the main sport right now for U.S. bettors. The college football regular season is coming to an end in a few weeks, and then the discussions and the anticipation of bowl season will begin. First, the bowl assignments will be announced, then the opening lines for those games will come out, and people will bet them, and the lines will move, and then the first bowl game kicks off on December 15th. And we're also in the middle of the NFL regular season right now with a big Thanksgiving weekend of football coming up in two weeks. There's always three highly watched NFL games on Thanksgiving Day, and I'll be previewing those games with one of our most respected football analysts at SBR Videos, Jeff Grant, who has extensive experience in the sports betting industry and has quickly gained uh, the admiration of our regular viewers. Then this weekend, there's also a UFC event, UFC 154, featuring the return of George St. Pierre after a year and a half layoff. He's a big favorite in his fight against Carlos Condit. And in boxing, Manny Pacquiao has a fight on December 8th. This is his first fight since his extremely controversial uh, decision lost to Timothy Bradley, where most people thought Pacquiao won easily, and some even thought he won 11 out of 12 rounds. Pacquiao is also, of course, a big favorite on December 8th. Then the soccer regular seasons and the major European leagues are all carrying on. And, of course, the NHL lockout is still in effect. So that's all the major stuff on tap for the next two weeks in the world of sports betting. Jay Todd, back to you. All right, you down here tearing it up. Shout yeah, out, where are you, where you from? Uh, I'm from Fontana. We like to call it Fontucky because they got a lot of meth and it's kind of dirty. But, you know, there's some good parts. All right. Well, shout out to... Shout out to Chris and Steph that came out here from... Jersey, shout out to my my wife Erin. Shout out to you for coming out here and showing everybody a good time. And shout out to your video that you do it on the online. Uh, this week in gambling. This week in gambling. All right. Jay Todd, the real Slim Shady.